Do you remember that fateful evening when you first stumbled upon the 1975 cinematic masterpiece? One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Picture it, the dimly lit room, the flickering screen, and the magnetic pull of Jack Nicholson's iconic portrayal of Randall P. McMurphy. As the story unfolded within the confines of a mental institution, you found yourself drawn into a world where defiance clashed with conformity, and sanity danced with madness. Maybe it was the rebellious spirit of McMurphy, or perhaps the enigmatic Nurse Ratched, who left an indelible mark on your memory. Those unforgettable moments etched into your mind, moments that made you laugh, cry, and ponder the intricacies of the human psyche. Now, let's embark on a journey to delve into some fascinating, lesser-known facts about this timeless classic. From the inception of the novel by Ken Kesey to the incredible journey it undertook to become a cinematic gem, well uncover the hidden layers that made one flew over the cuckoo's nest the legend it is today. So, sit back, relax, and let's explore the world behind the silver screen, where sanity met insanity in the most extraordinary way. And remember, every word of this journey is crafted just for you, by yours truly. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, directed by Milo's foreman, and based on Ken Kesey's novel, is a 1975 cinematic masterpiece that tells the story of Randall P. McMurphy, played by Jack Nicholson, a rebellious and charming criminal who feigns insanity to escape prison and ends up in a mental institution. There, he clashes with the tyrannical nurse Ratched, portrayed by Louise Fletcher, and inspires his fellow patients to challenge her oppressive regime. The film is known for its powerful exploration of freedom, authority, and mental health, as well as its memorable characters, including the effervescent McMurphy and the domineering Nurse Ratched. Its unique blend of dark humor and social commentary, coupled with stellar performances, contributed to its status as a classic in American cinema. One flew over the cuckoo's nest left an indelible mark on popular culture and was a critical and commercial success, winning five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Nicholson. It remains a thought-provoking and timeless work that continues to resonate with audiences today, highlighting the enduring themes of individuality and resistance against oppressive systems in society. In 1975, the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest made its mark in film history. While there isn't substantial information available about Dr. Dean R. Brooks securing jobs for 89 patients at the Oregon State Hospital, one interesting tidbit is that many of the patients from the hospital were used as extras and assistants in the film. According to Michael Douglas, who was involved in the production, the cast, and crew were in need of a break during the filming of the party scene. This movie was a tough and lengthy project, and everyone was ready for a little relaxation. In a significant turn of events, during the 30th anniversary of Ken Kesey's 1962 book version, the movie was recognized by the United States Library of Congress as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant, and was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. This recognition highlights the enduring impact and importance of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in American cinema. These aspects contribute to the legacy of the film, which remains a notable piece of cinematic history. Chief Bromden is a member of the Salillo tribe in Northern Oregon, the Dalles Dam flooded tribal lands. In the 1975 movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Chief Bromden, a prominent character, is portrayed as a member of the Salillo tribe hailing from Northern Oregon. This tribe's history is closely tied to the construction of the Dalles Dam, a significant event in the region. The dam led to the flooding of tribal lands, a pivotal moment that impacted the Salillo tribe and the people living in that area. This historical backdrop adds depth to Chief Bromden's character, highlighting the broader context of social and environmental change that was occurring in the region during the time the movie is set. It underscores the complexity of his character and the struggles he faced both within the mental institution and as a representative of his tribal heritage. This connection to the Salillo tribe and the Dalles Dam provides a meaningful layer to the character's identity and the overarching themes of the film, making one flew over the cuckoo's nest a compelling exploration of the individual's battle against societal forces. In 1975, the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest made a significant impact on the world of cinema. However, not many may know that the film almost had a different leading man. Kirk Douglas, who initially owned the rights to the story, planned to star in it. But when the time came to make the movie, 
he was considered too old for the lead role. Before Jack Nicholson took on the iconic role of McMurphy, several other big names were considered. Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman, and Steve McQueen were all offered the part. There were even rumors of Burt Reynolds being in the running for the role. Ultimately, Jack Nicholson's portrayal became legendary. On the other side of the casting, Louise Fletcher, who played the formidable Nurse Ratched, had a challenging journey to secure her role. She auditioned repeatedly for over six months, with director Milo's foreman telling her each time that she wasn't quite approaching the character correctly. But foreman's persistence paid off, and Fletcher was signed just a week before filming began. These behind-the-scenes tidbits add depth to the story of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, a film that went on to win five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The film's casting choices were pivotal in making it the classic it is today. In the world of cinema, even the most celebrated movies have interesting tales of casting decisions. And in the case of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the film's journey to the big screen was as riveting as the story it told. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the 1975 movie, holds a significant place in American cinema. The film made it to the American Film Institute's 1998 list of the top 100 greatest American movies. This recognition speaks to its enduring impact and influence on the cinematic landscape. The movie's journey to the silver screen involved a long wait. Kirk Douglas held the movie rights for an extended period before his son, producer Michael Douglas, took the helm to bring this iconic story to life. As for Louise Fletcher, who portrayed Nurse Ratched in the film, her character's 1940s hairstyle was more than just a fashion choice. She stated that the hairstyle was deliberate, emphasizing Nurse Ratched's uptight and wicked nature. It symbolically resembled the devil's horns, reinforcing the character's cold and authoritarian demeanor. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is a film that not only captured the hearts of audiences, but also garnered critical acclaim, earning a place among the top American movies of all time. With its compelling characters, powerful performances, and thought-provoking themes, it remains a classic in the world of cinema. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the unforgettable world of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this 1975 cinematic masterpiece has had on your life. In the confines of that mental institution, amidst the clash of wills and the indomitable spirit of Randall P. McMurphy, have you found echoes of your own defiance against conformity, authority, or your own inner nurse ratched? Perhaps it's the enduring power of human spirit depicted in the characters that resonates with your own struggles and triumphs. Or maybe the mesmerizing performances by Jack Nicholson and Louise Fletcher have left an indelible mark on your memory, reminding you of the sheer brilliance that storytelling can achieve on the silver screen. We encourage you to share your treasured memories, musings, or anecdotes about this iconic film. Was it a particular scene, a character, or a line that lingers in your thoughts? How has this cinematic classic shaped your perspective on freedom, individuality, and the delicate balance between sanity and madness? Thank you for joining us on this reflective journey into the heart of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Your time and interest in this timeless tale are greatly appreciated. We look forward to hearing your unique insights and connecting over our shared love for this cinematic gem. Until next time, keep those memories vivid and your reflections profound.